Now in the previous two training videos we learned what a macro was and we created one right here that when we double click on it it opens up the contact form. In fact when I double click on the contact form you can see there it is. So when I double click on the macro there it goes. The macro works. Close out. We then assign the macro to this button here in the customer data form. So in hopes that when we advance around in these records here that when we click on the contact button for customer number 25 we can pull up in that other form the matching contact information for customer number 25. But when I click on it, it pulls me to the first record of the other form. It doesn't advance me automatically over to, well, it looks like record 4, which is customer number 25. In other words, it's not matching the customer number in this form to the customer number in that form and pulling up the same customer. What I want to do is I want to add to this button or the macro that's assigned to this button the SQL command called the WHERE condition where this number that I have currently selected or on this record will actually match the other form when it opens up the number, the customer number there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and I want to modify the button here so I'm going to right click on the form and go down to the design view. Select the button and bring up the property sheet for the button by coming up on the design tab to the tools group and clicking on the property sheet. Go to the event tab because that's where the macro when you click on it, it's the on click command here, is assigned. And I can either modify the macro one of two ways. I can either, like I said, come here and click on its build button or the three little dots, the ellipsis button, and that opens up the macro, okay? Or I can close out and just come over to the macro here and right click and go to the design view. Opens up the same macro. Okay, in my macro I have two actions. The first action is the echo, and you can read more about it down below here. When I set it to no for the action argument, it's going to hide the results of the macro while it's running. In other words, I don't need to see the macro running in the background. I just want the end results, which is the second action to open up the form. So again, back to echo, down below, down in the action arguments, set it to no. Then the next action is to open up the form. Down here, it's going to open up the contact form. Of course, I have the other form, customer info, but it's going to open up the contact form. Now, I just don't want it to open up that contact form. Again, I want it to match the record that I'm currently on, or the customer number, to the new form that I open up, that customer number there. So to set that, I'm going to use the WHERE condition. When I click it down here, you can read more about it over to the right. It's going to be a SQL, or SQL, WHERE clause. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the code here, and then I'm going to explain it. Now, I can either type it here, but if I feel like it, if I don't have enough room and I don't want to scroll, I can zoom in on that cell. You can do it one of two ways. You can either right click on the cell and go to zoom, opens up, gives us more space, or click cancel. The shortcut key is shift F2 in that same cell and it gives me the same zoom screen here. So let me go ahead and type it in. Open square bracket, customer, num, close square bracket, equals, open square bracket, forms, close square bracket, exclamation point, open square bracket, FRM customer info close square bracket exclamation point open square bracket customer number and then close square bracket. Now this line of code what it's doing is it's saying when I open up the new form I want the customer number in that new form as you can see at the field the customer number field I want it to match the old form and here's the address back to the old form. First you have to go to the forms group it's right there the forms group then you have to go to the form, customer info, there's the customer info form and there it is, the one, remember the one that had the button on it? And then it's got to identify that field within the form, the customer number, to match the customer number in the new form when it opens it up. Okay, so you may think it's a little bit backwards, but remember, everything to the right of the equal sign in this where condition clause is just pointing back to the form that you're leaving. Okay, and then everything to the left is the form that you're going to. So if you break it down in all its simplicity, we're just saying match the customer number in the new form to the customer number in the old form so we can pull up that corresponding record, the contact from the customer information form. Now make sure it's spelled correctly. I mean, here we go, FRM customer info, there's FRM customer info, but the thing it doesn't really care about whether it's capitalized or not. So if I come in here and I put a lowercase c and a lowercase i, it'll still work. Okay, go ahead and click OK. I'll hit enter on the keyboard to make sure it accepts the code here. Be sure to save my work for my macro. Close out of here. Of course, click the save button for the form here. I'm going to close out of the property sheet. And then I'm going to right click and go to the form view and test the contact button, the modified contact button. 
Let me go over to record, let's say, 6. So when I click on the contact button, it should open up the contact, you know, the first name and last name, that's associated with this contact number. In other words, it should match. Click on the contact button. There we go. Open up the new form. It's contact 35. It's matching contact number here, 35. Now I've got the name, first name and last name of the client here. Try it again. Going to go ahead and close out of here. Let's go to the next one, up to, to contact number 45. Click on it. There's contact 45. It's Mary. Of course, down below you can see it's been filtered, but if you click on the highlighted filter button, it removes all filters, so it lists all the uh, contacts here, all 10 of them.